Dr. Clement, tell us about living foods and the treatment of multiple sclerosis. We are very clear, and any legitimate scientist is very clear, it's a virus that attacks the brain. If you go into mainstream science, you're going to say, we don't know where it is, we don't know what it is, we're not sure about it, blah, 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 blah. and they make an industry, let's research more, and we need a few billion more dollars. It's a virus that attacks the brain. How we know that is because the scientific community, not us, years ago looked at globulation studies, where there's certain geographic locations in the world, Holland being one of them, northern Montana being another, Key West, Florida being one, that have massive amounts of multiple sclerosis. That means something in science. Inevitably, factually, no, no question. That something contaminated that populace. The other thing you look at, who gets multiple sclerosis? It's everyone. It's not like one group of people, ladies with red hair. <laughs> it's everyone gets multiple sclerosis. So it's a contaminant that hits. There's a lot of speculation on the contaminant. We're not sure what it is. That we don't know. But we do know that when you boost the immune system and you start to make healthy cells in the body, that it starts to stop and prevent the eating away of the human brain. And that's what multiple sclerosis does. In the very early stages, it's much easier. At moderate stages where your friend is, it becomes increasingly difficult. Late stages, I've never seen anyone turn around, but I've seen major, major health changes. But attitude is everything. It's just like with any. You come here healthy and want to become more healthy, it's your attitude that's right. And so you've got to watch who you suggest this to because it may be appropriate to you because you've either been fed up or woken up, and so you come here. She may not be fed up enough. She may be happy in a wheelchair for some reason. 